I'm pretty sure that by now the only times that you think on hopping on performance enhancing that is whenever you either fail a lift or your physique is not looking the way that you want to. Today I failed my lift and the first thing that I thought about, you know what, I'm closer to 40 and maybe TRT will be something I should look at. But then I realized that that's the stupidest thing that I can ever say after I watched this guy. Because I found someone that is 70 years old and he hasn't been on performing enhancing supplements. His physique is amazing. But before we go any further, <coughs> before we go any further, please make sure to subscribe if you enjoy pandas and if you enjoy anything natural. So let's get right into it. No steroids, no uh, TRT, uh, nothing like that. 70 years old and he looks as shredded as your favorite fitness influencer. So this is uh, what I'm looking like. He looks very lean for his age. And you would think, oh, you know what? That's normal at seven years old. Think again, look at your grandpa. How does he look? I like him, right? Uh, I hope to uh, get more videos out to my subscribers. The fact that this guy came on my algorithm page whenever I was thinking that I should probably start TRT because I'm closer to 40 than anyone than most of you guys watching honestly most of my audience around 20 years old or you know early 30s and um, yeah I've been thinking about TRT quite a lot because that's the only mm, natural way right because your doctor prescribes it because it's something that you're supposed to do and then I saw this guy looking like that look at look at those shoulders like look at the definition look at the obliques at 70 years old and no performance enhances nothing. Not, not even TRT, which is the medical thing, right? If you go online now, you'll find a lot of people preaching TRT as something of a medicine. Oh yeah, I'm hopping on TRT because I have low testosterone levels and you know, my doctor prescribed it. Uh, sure, yeah, there might be a point that you might need it, but we all know that you're not doing it for the healthy part of it. You're doing it more for the, ah, this is an excuse for me to get performing enhancing supplements and a little bit better uh, with less time of working out. But the number one thing that we all know is that if you have on anything, you have to be doing that for the rest of your life. So if you don't have a lot of money to support your lifestyle in that aspect, please consider taking anything before you start doing that because that will crash your testosterone levels. Uh, another one, uh, also another psychological side effect, some types of your intelligence degrade over time with steroid use. This was tested in people currently using steroids and people who used to use steroids. This is what I'm looking like now, and I hope everyone gets out there and joins the gym and uh, works out. You got this gentleman here telling you, I hope you do this, this, and that, while you got other fitness influencers putting titles in their YouTube videos with this, putting these titles in their videos. Even though uh, genetics plays a big part in it, but you can be the best you can be with the genetics that you have. And uh, I've known guys that uh, uh, didn't have that great of genetics, but they have changed so much. Uh, even what they say, Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't have great genetics, he just had a lot of steroids. So Look, he's totally right. If you don't have the genetics to be a natural bodybuilder, you won't have the genetics to be a professional bodybuilder. And a lot of you guys have this twisted idea that yes, if I hop on something, I'll get all these muscles. No, that's not accurate. Why? Because not everyone, not everyone responds to this stuff, you know, in, in the same way. You might not be the next Chris Bumstead. You might not be the next uh, Sam Sulek. And again, you might be saying, well, if I don't try, how would I not know or how would I know? No, no, no. You can find this in the very simplest way by doing it natural for at least two, three years, and then you can track your progress and see if you look in some sort of way. And then by then, let's say you're like in your early 20s or maybe 25, then you already have a, an idea based on looking around and talking to actual coaches on how to do this, uh, you know, bodybuilding and whatnot. They will let you know, hey, you do have a shot or you might not. But at the end of the day, you will have an accurate assessment after you do this naturally for a little bit, two, three years, simple. But you know, <laughs> why not patient? That's the number one problem with this society nowadays. I'd like to give this information out to the younger guys. You do not need the steroids. Uh, I'm steroid free, always have been. And uh, only thing I do is put my uh, work in. And uh, this is what I'm looking like at 70. Steroids, too much steroids will age you dramatically. That is a fact. Look at your friend that uh, he's probably now 23, 
look at the pictures that you guys had together when you guys were 17 or 18. And, you know, he's doing his stuff, right? He's doing his PEDs and whatnot. He doesn't look like someone in their 20s. He might look like someone in their early 40s. If he's lucky to respond in that way. Because your body will change. Your your bone structure, your, your, your face. Everything will change because you're doing that. Chemicals in your brain are going to be pushing a lot of stuff for you to keep you alive. To keep your body alive because you are like, like pushing it. But, you know... That's, that's the whole thing. That's the problem with that. And not a lot of people think of the secondary effects which are going to happen no matter who you are. There's not a single person that can escape the secondary effects of performance enhancing supplements. But yet again, you have a lot of people pushing that online. Why? Because that's what makes the algorithm kicks. That's what creates engagement. And that, that's what is probably shown to you. And you've been bombarded with this for the past two years. And now you're probably thinking, like like me, I was thinking on doing TRT, but now I realize I don't need that. I just need to keep my nutrition on check, keep my weightlifting on check, and, you know, being healthier than last time, being very healthy, being happier, enjoy time with my family. Like, that's all that matters. Now that I'm pushing 40, all I'm thinking about is that I want to be there for my family for the rest of my life. And if I take performance enhancing supplements, that is not going to happen. I'm going to shorten my life. Why? Because my heart, my organs will grow to a different level at the same rate as I'm growing my muscles. And our bodies are not meant to support all of that tissue. I think I have very good genetics. I believe that if I have on any of that, I look like very, very neat to the point that I'll be definitely competing and winning stuff. Which, by the way, I'm going to compete at some point next year in 2025. And I'll be doing it naturally. Why? Because I want that. Because I want to prove the world that you can do this naturally. And of course, you know, yes, there are natural bodybuilders and whatnot. But we need to get more, more of those. So if you are into natural bodybuilding, let me know in the comments, what are you doing to promote this? And by the time they're 25, they look 45. It's sad, really sad. And a lot of uh, bodybuilders that are on steroids are dying so young. Uh, they're getting blood clots. Uh, when you're on steroids, your blood gets thicker, and they have to go and give blood just to keep their uh, uh, blood from thickening it up. So it, it's it's sad. Uh, I just wanted to make this video and show you where I'm at. And there you have it, guys. People like him exist. He's 70 years old, and he is all natural. He has the physique that you you don't have right now. I know. I know you don't have it. That's why you're watching me. That's why you're enjoying this content. But don't worry, because I'm going to help you to get to the next level. Just keep watching my stuff. I have a bunch of videos here that are going to pop up here. Just make sure to watch that and enjoy that, because that's, that's pretty much what you can do right now. You know, help us promote the natural bodybuilding. That's what we're going to do here. Naturals who are better, I live longer than anyone else. Performing enhancing supplements should be banned, should be treated the same way as you treat you know, Coca-Cola and, you know, that Breaking Bad stuff, it's the same thing. It's from the same family. But for some reason, we are not looking at it in that way. You can either let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you know anyone that looks like him at that age, please, please tag him down below. I want to know. I'm going to leave a link from this guy's video so you can watch it later. Uh, please make sure go ahead and subscribe to him. He has pretty amazing content. You are going to love it. A little bit like slow pace as you can see but you can speed it up and that will help him as well just consume his content because that will help him create more content he'll get more excited the same way i'll get excited if you interact with my content quit putting kids on gear judging from your profile pic you need gear no but on a real note imagine having such a low iq moment i've never once promoted actual anabolics or even given anyone one percent of a source to find it hate rejected low iq detected also another psychological side effect some types of your intelligence degrade over time with steroid use. This is tested in people currently using steroids and people who used to use steroids. That's all I have for today. Make sure to watch these next videos. Stay natural. See ya.